The MG3 Hybrid Plus and the ZS Hybrid Plus due later in the year marks a significant step to hybrid technology for the brand. In this video, we'll explain what that means and we'll cover the differences between hybrid, plug-in hybrid and full electric vehicles. So let's start with this, the MG3 Hybrid Plus. Underneath the bonnet, we have a 1.5 litre petrol engine and a 100 kilowatt electric motor. So the electric motor provides you with a smooth driving experience on those shorter journeys, while the petrol engine kicks in on those longer journeys to charge the battery and keep you moving. Overall, this setup is perfect if you're looking for great fuel economy and lower emissions without making any big changes from a traditional petrol car. Now you're up to speed with the basics, let's look at plug-in hybrid with the MG HS. The new HS will be in showrooms soon. As the name suggests, a plug-in hybrid is charged by a cable, not from the engine alone. In return, you'll get even more electric range, which means even bigger savings on fuel, while still having petrol power as a backup. This makes plug-in hybrid the perfect middle ground if you're thinking of going electric but aren't quite ready to commit. To feel the full benefits of a plug-in hybrid, I'd make sure that you can charge safely at home and choose an off-peak energy tariff to maximise those savings. Finally, we have my favourite, full electric. This MG4 has no engine at all. Instead, it has a large battery pack which is capable of over 300 miles between charges. I've been driving electric cars for over a decade now and achieved multiple Guinness World Records for driving efficiently and saved countless thousands of pounds in running costs. If, like me, you can charge reliably overnight at home and feel ready to give up the petrol pumps, this is the option for you. So that's a rundown of the differences between hybrid, plug-in hybrid and full electric. I hope that helps you decide what's best for you. Let us know in the comments.